Yes? I'm, oh, I... I am angry with Stanley because he died and he didn't have to yet. And now we have no future. Okay, so would you like to do the work? Okay. So Stanley died. Thank you, Jesse. So Stanley died, and he didn't have to do that. Okay? So the, the people in your life who have died, Stanley didn't have to do that. Is it true? Was it suicide? What was it? No, um, health issues. Health he issues? He couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. Okay. So Stanley died and he didn't have to do that. Is it he true? He didn't have to get sick. He could have... Kind of... So... The answer is either yes or no. So we're meditating on Stanley's dying. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. Is it true? So just contemplate it. Just ask, is it true? And wait to be shown. See what you see there. That question is an invitation to be shown. It invites the creative mind, the, the wisdom to meet the question. Sometimes it takes a little, you know, we're meditating on Stanley didn't have to do that did have to die except when I argue with him. Okay, so, so, yes. um, so just notice, is that a yes or no? Yes. So Stanley didn't have to do that. Is it true? I'm hearing yes. Yeah, he did okay. not have to do that. Okay, so if you take this work in as something you want to, to experience at home, if, you, if, if I say Stanley didn't have to do that, is it true? And I look at all of the yeses and I just continue to look for no's, reasons why it wouldn't be true, in the interest of fair play, in the interest of inquiry, and I come up with a yes or no, I'm just going to just feel that because I've been shown. But if I say, like, I find a yes, it's like, yes, because, da dun da dun da dun I don't have to feel it. I don't have to feel it. I can just run on. Or if I say I've seen what, what arises and the answer is clearly no to me. If I say no because da, 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 I don't have to feel it. And when I get that no, for example, or the yes, it doesn't stop what's being shown to me. It's allowed to live in me. 
And I just sit in, in that, and it's, it's as though you get that, and then if you give that time without interrupting it, it's like, it's like every cell in the body gets it. It has time to just be in a part of your consciousness. So, just the clean yeses or noes for those of you that want to take this into your practice and notice how your mind's going to want to interrupt with hooray, hooray, or da dun da dun Okay. So, um, so notice, what, what is the situation with Stanley that you wrote about? I'm angry that he died. And what is the situation that you uh, anchored in? Were you, um, when you filled in the worksheet, were you in a oh, sick room? Oh, I saw with myself a few days ago sitting at the table, and he's, I sense his presence. I mean, he was yeah. right there. Yeah. He's often right there, but yeah. you know, why does he have to be not in a body? Yeah. So, yeah. I argue with him in life. Yeah. So, how do you react when you believe the thought he didn't have to do that? You argue with life. Yes. And you're not grateful that he appears to you in your mind. Does it it's like, well, that's not mind. enough. Right I want. There. It's, <laughs> it's I like. Feel him. Well, if that's not enough, you want him to be real. I mean, Stanley can only give you so much. Yeah. So, now, close your eyes. Stanley's there at, what was it, at breakfast? Okay. Sitting at the table. Sitting at the table in, on that day. So, who would you be without the thought? Stanley died and he didn't have to do that. Just witness Stanley there. Did you say he was sitting at the table with you? Okay, so just drop your story. Be with Stanley. There he is. Who would you be without the story? He died. Just happy. You feel the intimacy? You know, it, it, Stephen may not be everything I want him to be. Even though you are, honey. <laughs> but whatever it is, it's enough. Just like Stanley. Yeah. It's like, I can't see Stephen. Like, we sit at the breakfast table, and I can't see Stephen. I see all these past Stevens. All these other times we've been together, all the time he's worn that sweater, all that I... And I see all of that, so I'm sitting with Stephen of the past, right? Stephen, 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 Stephen. So all of that is Stephen in the past. Now, if I look at Stephen in the moment, now it's the past. So it's not possible to see Stephen of the present. So he has a lot in common with Stanley. <laughs> Do we ever interrupt the people? Is your microphone? Yeah. Maybe if she holds it. Do we ever what? Do we ever interact with people in the now? And what now would that be? Now, 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 now. And where did that go? <laughs> Back there. Where? So there's your answer. <laughs> so Stanley didn't have to. Stanley uh, didn't have to do that. Turn it around. Stanley did have to die. Yeah, he, did he really have to do did. That. And I wanted him to. I didn't want him to suffer. Now, 
Let's look at statement two. You know, one thing about Stanley at breakfast this morning, there were two of you, or whatever day that was, there were two of you and only one of you were suffering. That's very true. Yeah, it wasn't Stanley. <laughs> He's doing fine when you compare the two. Yeah. Good company. Okay, let's look at two. I want Stanley to change the way life works and come back to a body, but in his current enlightened state. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I really think these things. You really <laughs> think these things. I mean, you, you really think I these mean, things? I mean, the thought. Well, you really... know, that one works for me. Let's move to three. <laughs> Stanley. You know, and, and, and let's look at number two again. Okay. okay. But you did get what you wanted there. But I want me to change. Read it that way. I want to change the way life works and come back to my body in my current enlightened state. That's more true. Yeah, so Stanley doesn't need you don't work on him anymore. It's just work on you. That's true. And what you're believing about Stanley question will wake you up. So let's look at three. Stanley shouldn't be okay with having died. <laughs> he should talk with the ascended masters and others and fix this situation. <laughs> he's there and he's fine with it I see it so he shouldn't be fine with it is it true <laughs> he shouldn't be okay with having died is it true look at him at the table he's blissful okay so it's just not true it's not true okay, I wouldn't so, want any less for okay him. so without discussion okay I want because I want you to, to experience it he should not be okay with having died is it true now look at him at the table before you answer he shouldn't be okay with having died. Look at him. Is it true? What do you see? I wouldn't want him to have any less than what he has now. Okay. So he so shouldn't. It's no, it's he not shouldn't, true. He shouldn't be okay with having died. Is it true? Now just feel one syllable. No. You get it? You know, we're not guessing here. He looks okay to you in reality, no matter what your mind is putting on the him that you see. Yeah. And how do you react when you believe the thought he shouldn't be okay with having died? And there you are at the table with him and he looks fine, you think. I feel alone and abandoned and with him sitting there. Lost. With him right there in front of me. Now who would you be at the table in that situation without the thought he shouldn't be okay having died? Okay with Joyous died. and blissful and in deep contact with him. I can feel it. It's only my mind driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not affecting Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. 
So he shouldn't be okay with having died? Turn it around? What's the op opposite of he shouldn't? Stanley should be okay with having died. Stanley is okay with having died. Nice to catch up with. I mean, if he's going to show up at your table, nice to be aware. You know, we, we even try to change what's not there. <laughs> even though we see them there. So, um, Stanley should be okay with having died and to turn around to the self, I should. I should be okay with having died? With Stanley having died. With Stanley having died. I should be okay with Stanley having died. Yeah, he still shows up for breakfast. He should talk with the masters and fix this situation. Is it true? <laughs> Look at Stanley. He should talk with the masters and fix this situation. There's nothing to fix. Okay, now I want you no. to get used to these, these one-syllable <laughs> oh. things. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, because it's not a matter of doing it right or wrong. It's a matter of experience in what you are shown, what you realize to be true. So how would you turn it around? Stanley should talk with the masters and fix this situation. Who would you be at breakfast with Stanley, apparently sitting in that chair, look at him, would you be without the thought that he needs to talk to masters and fix, fix the situation? You see how you're in the future? I'd be present with it. Yeah, not off in the future, just finding teachers for Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's like we, we nag each other when they're alive and we don't give up when they just kind of move on. <laughs> no one's safe. <laughs> no one's safe. <laughs> so Stanley should not talk with masters and fix the situation. Not to fix anything. Yeah. So to continue just to try it on. Does he look like he needs a master to you when you really look at him showing oh, up God, for breakfast? No. He's fine. Yeah. It's so nice for you to catch up with Stanley. Yeah, I, I wanted him, you know, to fix it so he would do, you know, yeah. what I want. So um, I should talk with I should talk with the Ascended Masters and others and fix this situation. And I think he showed up for breakfast. <laughs> so, talk. To, you know, when he shows up, talk. He's ascended. He seems to be okay. That's a master as far as I'm concerned. He's just good with what he is. Okay, let's, let's look at four. You know, it doesn't matter what's in our head. It's like, do you love it yet? Is everything welcome there? Is your mind at home in itself? Are you loving, with what, loving what is? I mean, 
who cares what arises if I don't love it, if I'm not comfortable with it? It could use a little work. It could use a little work. I mean, thoughts have, that's why thoughts have a right to live. You know, it's not as though they're not living there anyway. And the more you argue with them, the more painful it is, the more identified you become. So four, I need... I need Stanley to somehow fix this. I need Stanley to figure out how to fix this terrible situation. It's a terrible situation, is it true? Look at Stanley at the table. It's a terrible situation, is it true? No. No. And how do you react? What happens when you believe the thought? It's a terrible situation. And he's just sitting there, fine. I'm very sad. And who would you be without the thought that um, he needs to fix this terrible situation? Enjoying so much just hanging out with him. Yeah. So turned around, he should fix his terrible situation. He should not. Stanley should not fix anything. Now switch terrible, what to the opposite. Stanley should not Stanley fix. should not fix this. Wonderful. Wonderful situation. Yeah, breakfast. Yeah, a little visit. I'm just curious, does he eat? <laughs> He's beyond it, right? <laughs> I used to try to get him to eat when he was in a body, and he didn't then either. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, in around the body, Stanley had something going there. <laughs> you know, for Stanley. So, um, he needs to fix this terrible situation, turn around, I need. I need to fix this terrible situation where I have this wonderful experience and turn it into not wonderful. Yeah. That's so exciting. That'll give you an amazing life. And I find those, those ascended masters, you know, they don't, dead or alive, because we're all that, those ascended masters, they don't die or leave us until we're ready. It's just like that. And there's no one that's not an ascended master, but what we believe onto the people in our life, that's what demotes them to our awareness. But it doesn't change reality. It doesn't change our nature. It doesn't change what love is everything. You need him to somehow fix this. Something needs to be fixed about Stanley. Is it true? No. Okay. So turn it around. I need me. I need me to somehow fix, fix this. this. Right there in your head. What you're believing on to Stanley. Mm -hmm. Okay. What to what you're what you are believing onto what you believe to be Stanley. Which we could say that about each other if we were awake to it. Okay, so five. Stanley is unkind. Stanley doesn't love me enough. Or he would have already figured out a way to fix this. Starting to sound a little whacked to you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had no other arguments left. <laughs> <laughs> well, you finally met Stanley. <laughs> so, so turn around. Stanley is. Stanley is kind. Stanley loves me enough to be at my table visiting with me. Yeah, he fixed it. Yes, and he's here all the time. Yeah. 
how I never have to miss them, even unless I go crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and, and when you go crazy, you know what to do with it. Identify it, write it down, question it, and, and um, see what's there. So six, in other words, see what's true. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's all this. So six. I don't ever want to miss somebody I care about so deeply. I'm willing. I'm willing to miss somebody I care about so deeply. Yes, because if you're really in that kind of pain, then just remember you have a way out of that pain. You can fill in another worksheet. Mm-hmm. I look forward to. Oh, man. <laughs> I look forward to missing somebody I care about so deeply. Yeah, it's really exciting. It shows you unfinished business. And then I feel more love. Yeah, if you take care of it. Taking care of it, for me, means to identify what I'm believing about that person or situation and to get very still and question what I'm believing because it really is the truth that sets us free. I'm willing to do that. Yeah. So, um, and that somebody you care about so deeply is always going to be yourself. What you were thinking and believing kept you from the self that could even see your beloved. That's the self you miss. So, you know, this work can catch you up with Stanley until you no longer need that old self or Stanley. You're just good with what is. And a term maybe in your language would be you've ascended. (laughs) <laughs> you know, we're ascending these beliefs that would keep us stuck in time. Is that good? Listen. Stephen just went. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. Or I'm nowhere, which is the same. I don't ever want to have people I love leave their physical bodies before I do. I'm willing. I am willing to have people I love leave their physical bodies before I do. Yeah, because if you have a problem with it, it's a worksheet I look forward to. (laughs) Oh, I look forward to having people I love leave their physical bodies before I do. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like you're living in a tantrum. It's like, no one can die till I say so. (laughs) Done. And every time you do, I'm going to war. I'm going to war with, I'm, I'm going to war. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're no, we're no more or less at war than people that, that appear to cause war in our world with <laughs> bombs and, 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 you know, all these things we imagine That's our imagination doing it, just like with you and Stanley. Thank you, Precious. Nice work. Thank you.